Hey guys, and welcome back to my channel. I hope you're all doing very, very well. So this week I'm coming at you with a autumn Zara haul. Now, I absolutely love doing a Zara shop at the beginning of every season. I don't know what it is. I feel like it just kind of like sets me up for the season. I feel like it's the perfect place to shop for all of like those staples for every season. And yeah, I'm just absolutely obsessed. So I've just done my autumn Zara shop. I literally scrolled on the Zara website for probably about... I don't know, maybe two hours. My basket came to about 800 pounds. I was like, okay, this is not gonna work out. Like, let's narrow this down. So I did have to delete a lot of stuff out of my basket because obviously I'm not gonna be spending 800 pounds on Zara. Like, that is absurd. So I deleted a lot of things out there, but I've kind of like narrowed it down to my top favorites, kind of staples and things that I feel like I can style it in many different ways to kind of get like the most out of them this autumn. So yeah, I'm really happy with everything I've picked out. I've kind of briefly, quickly gone through the box, but I haven't actually tried any of it on yet, but I will be adding a styling to the side so you can see like how I've styled it, how it fits. I'll go through the sizing that I've got just for reference. So you can also see how it fits on me compared to the size, that kind of gist. I'll go through the pricing, everything like that. And I will leave everything below in the caption if you guys want to shop. So the first thing that I picked up was this cropped trench coat. Now, I absolutely adore this trench coat. Like, I feel like it is so, so cute. And I'm loving that it's cropped. So a long beige trench coat. I don't know what it is. I feel like it just looks weird on me. Absolutely love it on everyone else. Everyone else, I'm like, yeah, that looks 10 out of 10. I put it on myself and I'm like, something's not quite working here. So I've got a khaki trench coat, which I absolutely love. I thought I would basically just pick up a cropped one and see if I prefer it to a long one, if I can style it in different ways. And I feel like I'm gonna be able to because I absolutely love a cropped jacket. I don't know what it is, but like, I feel like with a lot of the things I wear, a crop jacket just goes. So I'm actually really excited to style this. I love that it's got like a belt around the waist. It's also like frayed at the bottom. And I kind of love that look. I kind of love it. I don't know what it is, but I just love that sort of like messier, like more chilled vibe. So I'm actually really, really excited to try on this trench coat. Like I feel like it's just really cute. So I got this in a size large. I always get my jackets in a really oversized size just to make sure that they are really oversized. And also I feel like going into like autumn winter, I want to be able to put a jumper or a hoodie underneath without being tight. There's nothing worse than a tight jacket, you know? So I always go bigger. So I got a size large and it's $59.99. I actually think that is quite a good price for a coat slash jacket. Like £60 for a jacket, I really don't think it's that bad. Um, it's quite a good quality. Like obviously it's quite thin, but that is kind of just trench coat material, right? Um, so yeah, I'm actually really, really excited to try that on and see what it looks like. I feel like you could pair this with so many different things. Like I actually saw someone style it with a black jumpsuit and I absolutely love it. Like a black jumpsuit, some Uggs and then this cropped jacket. I feel like a cropped jacket also can flatter your body so, so much where it kind of comes to the waist. I feel like it can like really accentuate your body type, size, whatever. Um, so yeah, I'm actually really excited to style this. I also just feel like with jeans, trousers, like tracksuit, literally anything, this jacket's gonna go. So I am really excited to style that and just see how it looks. Another jacket that I picked up, which I actually kind of forgot that I ordered. And then when I just quickly went through the box, I was like, oh my God, that jacket is insane. I'm so excited to try it. Like, <gasps> How cute is that? It is such a gorgeous material. It's kind of like a wool, like, I don't even know. It is literally stunning. Like, it is so soft. I feel like the quality, like, it feels like a really, really good quality, you know? Like, it's really thick. It's really sturdy. Again, it's kind of like a bomber jacket style. It's kind of like a crop style as well. I feel like these cropped sort of jackets are definitely, like, quite in this autumn. The only thing I would say is for like when we go into winter, they're not the warmest. And obviously like, because they're kind of cropped, they don't really fit like that much underneath them. You know, like I feel like it's not a layering up kind of jacket, but for the time being, bear in mind it's still like 20 degrees. I feel like these jackets are literally perfect. And I'm actually just obsessed with this. I also love the color. Like that color is so, so cute. So I picked this up in a size large again and Oh my God, I actually can't believe the price of that. Oh, this jacket is 
I'm actually going to have to double check that on the website because I feel like that could be a lie. 35 Sorry, if this is 35.99, you guys best run and not walk. That That is a stunning jacket for 35.99. I don't understand how that's so cheap. I guess it's No, I would say that is a jacket. I literally can't believe that. 35.99. Anyway, well, that is literally mental. But anyway, that jacket is really cute. And if that actually is 35.99, then wow, that's insane. The next thing that I then picked up was this um, midi denim skirt. I actually really am liking this denim. It's not too thick. It's not too sturdy. It feels quite like floaty, which I really, really like. And I absolutely love the front of it. So it's kind of got like that stitching. It's got slit down the middle and then it's got like some more stitching. I love the color. It's like a light blue color and it just feels like really floaty. I feel like some denim skirts are so sturdy and I'm like, whoa, you know, a bit too tight, a bit too like rigid to walk in. Do you kind of know what I mean? But this one is actually a really lovely material. I've tried quite a few denim skirts and I feel like this one could be my favorite. Um, so I'm actually going to Paris soon, kind of soon, like not that soon, maybe in like a month or so. And I really wanted a denim skirt for one of my outfits in Paris. So that is the main reason why I basically picked up this skirt. But I feel like it could come in handy. Like, I just think this is really cute. I also, again, loved like the frayed bottom. I love like the stitching, which is on show. I don't know. I just feel like it gives more of a chilled look. Like I'm so here for like this chilled, like rustic look you know it's like ripped jean absolutely love them like they're just chilled but they also look cool i feel like it just makes an outfit look a bit more cool and like i don't know more street style i guess i'm not sure anyway this skirt i got in a size okay the skirt doesn't actually have a label in it no it doesn't have a label in it but i got it in a size small so I wouldn't know how much it is because it has got no label. Um, but I'll write it down below in the caption. But yeah, I'm excited to style that skirt actually. I feel like that could be cute. Also guys, my hair is annoying me so, so much. Like, oh my God, I need it cut. It's got far too long for me. I don't know what to do with it. I don't have style. It is just pissing me off. Like I'm trying so hard not to put it in a stick back bun. But when it is just like this, I'm like, just get out of my face. Like it is really really irritating me so if i keep touching it and just like doing stuff with it just ignore it because it's annoying me as much as it's annoying you to be quite honest like and i just think it just looks awful like it's so dead it's so dead like it's just breaking off it's sort of like it needs a good old snip you know like cut it off anyway next thing i got were these i want to say they're jeans but like i don't think they're sort of like okay they're jeans with linen i was about to say i don't think they're like named as jeans on the zara website but they kind of feel like jeans anyway they also look quite big i can't lie anyway these are like some wide led trousers i kind of wanted like they're kind of like a light gray kind of white trouser which i feel like is really really cute in autumn because obviously i've got white linen trousers but they're quite summery because they're so floaty and thin and i kind of wanted a trouser which was a similar style and look but a bit thicker and actually these are the perfect ones i kind of love the stitching around the top as well um so they are like more of a jean like feel to them they're definitely a bit more sturdy obviously than a linen trouser but it says that they've got linen in them but they're like super wide legged they're super floaty they're super like floppy and i feel like these would look just really cute with like uggs or like trainers and like a knit jumper i don't know i just feel like they'd look really cute so these are in a size small i think they're meant to be low waisted but i am thinking that waist is looking quite big so i'm not sure i'll try them on and to tell you guys how the sizing is I would usually be a size small in Zara, you know? So I'll let you know if you need to size down. And these are $45.99. Maybe a little bit spenny, but I feel like these are a very good quality pair of trousers. So I feel like they could potentially be worth it. Obviously, once I've tried them on, I will let you know if they actually are worth it. But I don't know. I feel like they're cute. I feel like you could pair these with a lot. I did really want like a nice pair of light 
sort of like floaty jeans slash trousers for autumn and I feel like these could potentially be perfect you know they're like thicker they're sturdy they're kind of like jeans but they're also linen so they're actually like really soft inside like they really are quite soft so I'm actually kind of excited to try them on so that is that then the next thing I picked up were just some joggers I feel like I just saw these and I was like oh do you know what they look so cozy so the gray joggers I have I've literally had them for like like since college so probably like five years and I was like do you know what I feel like I do deserve a new pair of joggers like gray joggers my other ones are like they obviously I've washed them so many times they're not fluffy they're not comfy they're not soft they are comfy but they're not soft you know and I feel like they're very like thin now because they've got like no fur on the inside I don't know it's hard to describe but anyway I picked up these joggers from Zara I feel like these look so comfortable they're the perfect like grey marl kind of look I think it's marl I'm not sure that sounds weird now I'm saying it but I feel like I can really picture it being called like marl grey marl I don't know but it's sounding weird now I'm actually pronouncing that word but on the inside as you can see it looks so soft and cozy like I feel like a pair of good joggers is just absolutely key for autumn like I kind of live in joggers so I got these in a size medium I like my joggers being quite oversized and baggy like I absolutely hate a tight jogger that's my worst nightmare and they've got a drawstring anyway so I always think if a jogger has a drawstring Oh, like get them more well personally I get them more oversized and then I can just tighten the waist but I would prefer them to be looser on the leg than tighter like oh a tight jogger on my leg absolutely not these were 19.99 sorry absolute bargain can't go wrong like that is literally just perfect an absolute staple like I really do think that is a staple like that is a staple of my wardrobe um next up I have got these blue jeans so these are a wide leg, mid-rise, full length jean. So I feel like I've actually got quite a lot of light blue washed jeans. So I kind of wanted a more darker blue washed jean. These are mid-waist, like mid-rise waist, which I absolutely love. I'm definitely heading more towards like the mid to low waisted jeans at the moment. I don't know what it is, but I'm just kind of loving it. Um, these I picked up in a size 8 and they're 35.99 and you know what I actually don't think that's bad because Zara jeans really are good quality like I absolutely love Zara jeans I've got a pair of jeans from Zara which honestly I have probably had for like I don't know like five or six years and they are literally in tip top condition like they like you wouldn't even know it you know so I really do think Zara jeans is worth spending the money on and like 35.99 isn't too bad I don't think um so as you can see they're kind of like a straight leg style which I absolutely love I love like the fact that they're kind of like lighter here and then they go a bit darker yeah I'm absolutely obsessed with these jeans I love that they're mid rise and yeah I'm excited to try these on I feel like blue jeans you can't go wrong they're a bit of a darker blue which I feel like is quite nice like for autumn and winter because obviously everything is just a bit more darker basically um obviously blue jeans you can literally pair with anything right like they're pretty easy then next up I've got these jeans now I'm actually really excited for the fit of these jeans because they look really really wide and I'm scared they won't be like too wide legged they're wide shifted pant like what what does that mean anyway these are 35.99 and i got them in a size 8 again i'm kind of loving the color i don't know why because i feel like the color is kind of weird but i kind of love it like i opened it and i was like oh like that's an interesting color i don't know why like i feel like they are gray but they also kind of have like i don't know what it is like i don't know if you can kind of see like they are gray but they're kind of giving me like vibes of some other colour, which I don't really know what. But anyway, we'll go with grey jeans. I feel like they kind of look brown. I don't know, maybe that's just me. Um, but yeah, as you can see, they are like super, super wide legs, but I kind of love the hem on it. I think it's a hem. I'm really getting technical with all these like hem, frayed, like all of this, like who do I think I am? Um, but I'm kind of loving this like, maybe that's not the hem. I think that's actually just the stitching to be quite frank. Um, I kind of love that that's like there, so it's kind of like visible on your leg. I feel like they've done it on purpose, you know? 
so it's like not down the side it's kind of along the front um yeah I don't know I feel like I really am getting like hints of brown I feel like you can kind of see it here actually like a grey brown anyway I'm excited to try to use jeans I, don't, I really don't have a jean which is this colour at all and I feel like this could be perfect for autumn I've seen so much grey this autumn like I feel like grey is massively massively in like I literally see it everywhere anyway next up I have this t-shirt now this was a bit of a rogue one I kind of don't know why I got it but I feel like it could come in handy you know so I kind of wanted like an oversized white t-shirt so I got this in a size large and it's $15.99 but it's a way thicker material than like your average t-shirt like it's kind of like a sweatshirt material not as thick but it's a t-shirt and do you know what? I'm actually like kind of here for it. I really feel like this will come in handy for like wearing, I don't know, whenever you need to wear a white t-shirt, but in autumn and winter, because I feel like this is such like a thicker material that it will really keep you warm. Um, so yeah, this was a bit of a random one, but I'm actually kind of here for it just with like jeans or like, you know, anything really like joggers i feel like it's a good length i feel like it's a nice like oversized boxy fit and yeah i feel like this could be quite cozy it's like really soft material on the inside and it's just like way thicker than your average white t-shirt so that's why i picked this up and for 15.99 i feel like that could be quite good i also think these are really really good for layering underneath like jumpers hoodies sweatshirts all of that malarkey or even just wearing it with like a jacket if it's slightly warmer I feel like these kind of tops are perfect and obviously because they're white they literally go with everything um and then lastly i picked up this hoodie now i kind of don't love the color i'm not gonna lie i don't really like the dark gray kind of wish it was a lighter gray kind of vibe but it's not um so this is basically it's kind of like a hoodie sash jacket i'm not sure i'm loving it like i'm gonna have to try it on but from first look i'm kind of not loving it so it's like really thick hoodie basically so it can kind of be worn as a jacket as well i don't know i i don't really know why i picked it up i feel like i saw it and i was like that's really cute it's also 50 quid so like i really don't think i'm gonna keep this i got it in a size medium but like it's really oversized already as you can see like it's pretty huge um so yeah i'm gonna try this on and see what it looks like maybe i'll love it but i'm one not kind of loving the color two i don't know like i've got a gray hoodie and like do i really need a gray hoodie in a jacket form probably not like i've got jackets you know like i don't know i'm kind of I'm, i don't know what i'm thinking about this jacket so again i'll let you know how this gets on obviously you'll be able to see how i've styled it yeah, 40, 49 .99. I feel like that's a lot for a hoodie slash jacket, which is kind of just basically like a thick hoodie, you know? So anyway, that is basically the end of my Zara haul. I hope you guys have enjoyed. I hope you've seen some pieces which you guys love. I am quite happy with my pieces, actually. I feel like I haven't gone off course. I feel like sometimes I do go on Zara and I end up just buying the randomest stuff and I end up keeping it and never wearing it like that is an awful tendency of mine um but I feel like this year I have actually kept it kind of down to the basics I know what I'm like in autumn and winter and that's like who cares about what top I'm wearing because it's always going to basically be a black or white long sleeve um so I feel like I didn't really go into the top section I did have a look but I actually only bought, as you've seen, like one t-shirt and I feel like that's pretty good for me. Like normally I do, I would go a bit mental and just buy tops, which I will never wear. Um, so I am actually quite happy about that. I feel like I've got a good section of trousers slash jeans, which is also like absolutely key in autumn. A pair of joggers, you can't go wrong with that. And a couple of jackets, which are really, really nice for autumn again. So I'm actually quite happy with what I have got. The only thing which I am missing is like knit knitted jumpers kind of things, but I've actually got a H&M haul coming and that the order has just arrived and that is full of like knits, blazers, coats. So do look out for that next week because I will probably post, yeah, I'll probably post my H&M haul next week to be honest. Um, but I kind of, I like doing different shops for different things. Like H&M, I absolutely love their knits, their coats, their blazers. And I feel like they are kind of a better price than Zara, 
Whereas I love Zara for like jeans. I love Zara for their jackets. Like I absolutely love jackets from Zara. And I feel like their jackets are always quite a good price. I feel like sometimes their coats are a bit like, whoa. Whereas H&M, I feel like they just really get it right, you know? So I do like shopping in a different place, like different places for different things. So that is basically my Zara haul. I'm massively rambling right now. Um, I hope you guys have enjoyed and I hope to see you guys in my next video. If you've got to the end, thank you so much for watching. Please do give it a thumbs up. If there's anything you want to see in the future, please do comment down below and massively help me. It just kind of like plan my content and help knowing what you guys want to see like obviously really helps me so I know what to basically film for you guys but yeah I hope you guys have enjoyed and I hope to see you guys in my next video bye guys